What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be on Epic 7. We're going to be checking out the new characters, Fenris and Haraseti. Um, we're going to look at Fenris right now. He's going to be the one that's coming up first. And if you guys, if you like the videos that I'll be putting out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get to it. Here is just beginning. Hmm. It's been a while since I felt this good. Until my final shot. Will never heal. Nothing in life is easy. And as he said, nothing in life is easy. We're gonna check out his kit real quick. Um Fenris. He's gonna be a unit that's coming together with uh, I guess they're gonna have a new story coming out. He's gonna be an Earth Ranger. Uh, as you hear the sirens in the background, there's, there's a storm going on. People been getting hurt. You know, this all it is. Anyway, Earth Ranger, Fenris, and these are going to be his stats right here. Let's see. Can we check out his skills? Skill two, he's going to he start with the Battle of Fire Spirit. So look, he got a Fire Spirit mechanic built in his thing. And after he suffers an extra attack, he's going to counterattack for a dual attack. Gains 50% and uses Sword and Arrow. Sword and Arrow, he leaps back, attacks all enemy, and dispels um, a debuff from all allies. I mean, yeah, from all allies. And they increase their combat readiness. Um, his skill 3 should be the next one, I think. Skill 3, Strike of Fate. After granting an increased attack greater, um, the caster for a three turn. He gets a three turn attack greater. And he attacks the enemy with resolute arrow. When it, wait. Oh, okay, he gets his greater before he does his attack. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to really buff him. He's gonna get his great attack greater. And he attacks the enemy with resolute arrows. Um uh, when the enemy's max health is greater than his, he's gonna deal um a proportion of difference up to a maximum of seven percent. So it's kind of giving like a piercing effect, kind of. Not really, not really. I guess not piercing, but like extra damage kind of mechanic to help him do more damage. Um, yeah. Let's see his S one real quick. We got that one too here somewhere. Attacks the enemy with a magic arrow increases his speed for one turn. When the caster's turn, he grants spite, gains fighting spirit. So he can gain fighting spirit by just attacking with his his um S1. Um it looks like a really, really cool character. Um I think they show his concept art too somewhere. Right here. Very cool character. I like, always like elf archer units. They're always pretty decent and always an interesting thing. And he's like he's gonna be the the uh, archer that's gonna be pretty interesting. Let's go and we're gonna cut and we're gonna show you how I said it again, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll be back to the hard city in a second. <sighs> this is a waste of my time. You outlived your usefulness. Now rest in peace. I will not give in to despair. All right, guys, this is Harasetti. She is, I think she's supposed to be the boss of the next chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she's the sovereign of the Shadow Elves. Her element is going to be dark, and she's going to be a mage. Um, I don't think they show her stats yet on here. Um, um, yeah, they don't show her stats yet. But she's a pretty cool uh, unit. They talk about a little of her story. Being that she's a middle class uh, dark elf and she overthrew the sovereign, become sovereign Harasetti, the ruler of Skookie, Skookieheim, which is the dark elf's capital. Oh, we do see her stats right here. So her stats are right here. You guys want to see that real quick? Um, decent stats. Um, from my understanding of her kit, it's supposed to be like a. Um, speed reduction or speed equalizer is what, it's, is what it seems to me is her thing is going to be let's go ahead and check out her concept art here i think it was after this one or is it before this one? we'll pull that one her concept art so yeah 
Really like a concept art. Uh, is this a face right here? This is kind of like a face hidden right there. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Anyway, um, yeah, this is very very cool. Like her style, her black and white. Her hair is not white in trailer, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Right? Like, you know, black on white. Uh, one other thing I want to say here is that uh, on this clip after this one right here and it says when you read friendship 10 with her you get in imperious planner her city so i'm thinking of giving us a scan with her so just if you get her and you um reach level 10 friendship 10 with her so that's pretty cool i don't know if they just started doing that or just something they they recently started doing but that's pretty cool um skill two law of Skoogie, Skoogie at the start of battle, speed of the caster is fixed going forward. All the speed of all the allies except for the caster is limited to a maximum of 90% of the caster's speed. So you really don't have to have, she don't have to be that fast, but she can be fast. Because they're going to be limited to 90% of her speed. So it seems like she kind of like slows everyone's speed down. Or is it speeding up? Speed of all heroes. It said all heroes. So on the caster's turn, combat rate is increased. Effect of all heroes are not applied. And law skin is Skugiheim is only applied to PvP. So this passive is only in PvP. So technically she loses a move if you're using her in PvP. I mean, excuse me, PvE. But I mean, who's using these units that are basically PvP units in PvE? Um, yeah, let's go to her next move. Here, skill three. Skill three attacks out enemies, decreasing the debuff. I mean, increasing buff duration by two turns. Oh, so I wonder for those turns, those uh, debuffs are excuse me, buffs like uh, um, uh, immortal. Would they just leave? Some of them only last like two turns, and a seventy-five percent chance to increase. To inflict, excuse me, counterattack and unable to be buffed for two turns. Unable to counterattack. Oh, wait. Is this a direct counter to Landy? The, the, the ML Landy? And she penetrates the target's defense when the focus is full, consumes it all. Guys, let me know what you think about this. This 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 one on her. Is this a direct counter to Landy? And any of the other units that counterattack? If so, she's gonna have a good matchup against a lot of units and a lot of people who put counterattack on their uh or counter set in general. Right? Um, uh, yeah, let's go to the next skill though. Um here. Gambit attacks the enemy with a 6% chance of decreased defense so she can decrease defense uh, for one turn and when it when it's a cast a turn use on percent as an extra attack so on her normal attack she can do decreased defense so but she also do on percent as an extra attack on her turn and she on percent basically attacks all enemies with a 6% chance and decrease the attack also. So that's a pretty good one. Anyway guys, that's all for this video. Let me check out everything I wanted to check out. If you want to see the, um, the actual preview gameplay for each one of these units, go to the Epic 7 channel. And like I said guys, don't forget to like and subscribe on the way out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.